Hey guys, welcome to the instructions for installing the stock upgrade kit for a Can-Am X3 RS and DS BSD kit. This stock upgrade kit for the BSD is going to do multiple things for you. One, it's going to get rid of a lot of the bump steer that's prevalent in the factory X3. Two, it'll allow you to retain your factory tie rods so you don't have to buy an aftermarket set. Three, it upgrades the outer factory tie rod to a much higher quality Teflon lined 5 8 rod end. A lot of people ask us why they shouldn't do this kit over a full kit with tie rods. The only difference between the two is that our aftermarket tie rods are much stronger than the factory system. Now if you don't run your car that hard, then this kit is perfect for you. Another reason you should use this kit is if you already have an aftermarket set of tie rods that use the factory outer joint. This system will upgrade that outer get rid of your bump steer and thread right into the factory 14 millimeter thread. This installation should take you no more than 30 minutes with the exception of having the front end aligned. As always, we recommend that you take your car to a quality alignment shop to make sure that the toe is set properly. With that being said, let's go ahead and install this kit and send it off to Mitch to show us how. As always, lay out all of the components included in the kit to make sure that you have what you need as well as making the installation easier. First step is to jack the front of the car up to where the tires are just off the ground. Remove one front tire. Next, loosen the jam nut that locks the factory outer joint to the tie rod. Remove the factory cotter pin that locks the lower bolt in place. Remove the factory hardware that holds the tie rod joint to the spindle. Unthread the factory tie rod joint from the tie rod. Keep in mind the approximate distance or number of threads that are showing so that when you install the new rod end, you can get it close for setting the toe. Remove the factory jam nut from the tie rod joint. Reuse the factory jam nut on the new supplied rod end. Install the new rod end into the factory tie rod. Keep in mind to set it in the approximate location as the stock one used to be. Install the new BSD spacers. The tall spacer is always on top of the rod end. The short spacer is always on the bottom. Use the factory hardware to put an angle into the system so that it can install into the spindle correctly. These spacers are designed to be a tight fit. They might have to be tapped in a little at a time. Try to keep the spacers perfectly straight as you tap them through the spindle mount. Install the factory spindle hardware and torque to 95 foot-pounds. Don't forget to install the cotter pin to lock the system in place. Remember, the tall spacer goes to the top and the short spacer to the bottom. Here's your completed system on one side. Install the wheel and tire. these steps on the other side. Now let the car back down on the ground. 
You can push on the front end to try and settle the system. If needed, you should drive the car back and forth to get it completely back to ride height. A good starting point to get the alignment close is to hook the tape measure on the upper jam nut and pull it to the center of the bolt in the center of the joint on the spindle. This measurement should start at 25 inches. Check the other side to make sure that it is also 25 inches. With the steering wheel straight and the car on the ground, check your toe set from front to rear. This is measuring the width of the tires at the front of each tire and at the back of each tire and checking the difference between those measurements. It is preferred to set the front end one quarter of an inch towed in. Adjust the tie rod in or out to narrow or widen the front toe set. If your steering wheel is centered, you should be able to adjust each tie rod the same amount. And 49 and a half, perfect, quarter inch towed in. You can also check the tie rod lengths once you've set the adjustments to make sure that they're both the same length. With your toe set to quarter of an inch in, you can now lock down the jam nuts. Your installation is now done. Thank you Mitch for showing us how to install that kit. And as you've seen by watching Mitch install this, this is a very easy system to put on. As always, we recommend you take it to a qualified alignment shop to make sure the toe and steering wheel are set straight. Another thing to make sure that you do is tighten the jam nuts. It's about the only thing on this whole kit that you could leave loose and cause an issue. As always, if you want to check out more products from Shock Therapy, go to our website at shocktherapist.com or contact us at the shop at 623-217-4959.